anyway I thought I'd do a little bit on the uh, the cats and how this has affected them with um, all these building works going on nine weeks and not completed and you know the place an absolute mess these guys are having to shut in here from about half past seven in the morning right through till about two o'clock something like that three at the latest I sort of give the builders enough time to um I give them a cut-off point of when they're going to come and then if after that they turn up, then it's like tough, <laughs> you know. These guys need to, um, you know, need to be earlier. Um, I don't like these being shut in any longer than they have to be and at the minute it's really, really stressful for the cats. You have to excuse the chaos in here. It's um, needing a deep clean. My cleaner came yesterday and um, she did do a deep clean again of the kitchen, all the worktops, you know, the bits that no one sees. Or <laughs> She stands up on literally on the sides and she gives everything a deep clean. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, as I said, the, the cats are being really affected with this and I'm fed up with it now. You know, it's not fair on these guys. They don't understand what's going on and you can't reason with them what's happening and they're sort of used to just sitting in here, you know. Um, I've got Gizmo over there with Percy. I can just see his ear. Um, there's Cosmo over there on top of the skybox that you may just be able to see. He's blending in with the tally. His head just about sticks out. Minnie is sitting in a comfy bed, um, which is like one of those anxiety beds. It's um, She loves it, absolutely loves it. There's Alfie. Um, and then there's Elsa, his sister. I think there's only Luna that's not in here. Um, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Luna. Luna seems to like being in the bedroom. She's more of the loner out of the, the cats. Um, she likes her own space. She likes to be in with them when she wants it. And then any other time she's like, <laughs> get away. <laughs> um, she's more like the bedroom and kitchen areas. You know, she likes her own space. But like I said, every now and again, she likes to be in with these. But when she's ready, or is she? Sometimes she'll sleep in the in the hammocky bit of the cat tower. Um, at the moment, Minnie, who is my eldest female, she um, she quite literally is um, being attacked, if you like, by Cosmo and Percy, my two youngest males, and Gizmo. Her and Gizmo have always had a love-hate relationship. I mean, he's coming up to 14 now and she's 13. Um, 14 and 13 years of age, which is good ages for cats. Um, my eldest one that lived, lived up to her 22nd birthday, a week off her 22nd birthday, Nina. Um, yeah. But yeah, many every now and again, it's, things simmer down. I mean, it's not been too bad today um, because there's been no builders been or anybody been. It's just been a chill day, if you like. We've had a chap come to pick up my undercounter fridge, which is now officially gone. Um, but yeah, this one, Cosmo and then Percy, who's... Ginger ear, you can just about see. He and well, and then there's Gizmo there as well. Sometimes they will chase her. Something chronic. If she gets down onto the floor, they they think it's like, it's treated like a game. And yesterday, was it yesterday? No, Friday. She was on her back, quite literally. Um, they were pulling pulling tufts out of her she was trying to get up and they wouldn't let her up and you know I mean she went to the I've got a tray in that corner right in the corner over there because it's like hidden away 
and sometimes she'll use that to go to the toilet but she'll only go when I'm in that seated area um, and I'm there to protect her from the other cats so that's what she's like at the moment um, but it's like they're very ter territorial over bowls, water bowls. At the minute they've got water bowls down that have old pasta bowls. Um, just because the filters got clogged up with all dust and then the insides are like sort of all dusty and that. And I thought I'll get some new ones. When all this is finished I'll treat them to some new bowls, fountain bowls. Um, you know, they've got the food dishes all in here. They usually have um, cat bowls like, for their food in the living room, in the kitchen and in the bedroom of mine. Um, and then again for water fountains as well. I usually have either two or three on the go. Um, but at the minute, they're all very territorial. They're all mine, mine. I mean, Minnie's got her bowl right in the bed just so it's easier for her to be able to get some food because some of them do climb up and try eating what she's got else. The water bowl's nearby. And then all those are sort of in that area. And then I've got one lot over there just so there's a bit of a distance between. But, the you know, it's, it's very much so. That's mine, that's mine. I've got one down here as well. You know, that's sort of hidden a bit. Um, yesterday I had the worst fight ever happen. I heard the, the wind up, you know, like having two toms that aren't neutered outside your home. I remember as a kid, I used, I remember crying when I was a kid and my mum coming up to me, um, and I said, oh, there's two children outside that are crying. And that's exactly what it sounded like. Two children crying outside my bedroom. And she was like, it's not, it's not children, it's cats. And I wouldn't have it. And it really upset me. And it's just all they're preparing for a fight. That's the sound you can hear. And um, so I had Gizmo. And I had Alfie that's over at the far corner there. Um, the two of them, I mean, they literally were fighting over who was going to have the bedroom, my bedroom and the bed. Uh, my bed was caked in black fur. They then went on to the bedroom door area. Um, by the time I got onto my chair from over there, they were well and truly in the throngs of it all. I managed to separate them, which I was really nervous to do in case they bit me or scratched me. Um, and then they both chased each other into the living room and it just continued and all this. I mean, you can still see some of the fur scattered around. Um, I did try sweeping it up because my cleaner had only been yesterday. Um, yeah, they were really going for it. And the last time that they did that was when Charlie, my eldest male, um, passed away. Um, I took him to be put to sleep. And for six weeks, there was nothing. There was absolutely no rowing, no falling out or anything. It was calm, too calm, too quiet. And I kept saying to my son, I don't like this. They're, they're just like, there's a nothing. It's like they'd expected him to be gone away and come back any time. And when he didn't come back, um, I didn't know what else to do. Sorry, I'm just showing you <laughs> the floor <laughs> as I'm talking. Um, I didn't know what else to do. And um, and then one day I had a friend here cleaning and all of a sudden it was like they just started. I mean, it was come from nothing. They Both of them, because of the eldest males, were like fighting over the top spot. And they were all over each other, all over the floor. Fur was flying, black fur, white fur, because Gizmo's got white patches. Um, they both have scratches on their faces, especially Gizmo, because he's got white fur on his face, so you could really see. Um, then they went into the hallway and then back into the living room. And it was just the worst fight ever. 
and proper fighting, not as in like, oh, a bit of a fallout. This was a proper fight. And my son had to pick Gizmo up and throw him out of the living room and shut the door. That was the only way to calm it down. And it's like, it was exactly like that. And today they've sort of simmered down. Yesterday Gizmo had, um, Gizmo, Alfie had aeroplane ears. And he was, um, yeah, you know, had aeroplane ears. And, um, you know, it took a while for him to like me to stroke him around his head. I'm imagining he's got bites and cuts on his head, but I can't get to him to have a look. He didn't want me anywhere near. Um, but, yeah, that's the state of play at the moment. What my plan is, I'm going to do. And tomorrow, not tomorrow, what I'm going to do when, the, when all this is finished is I'm going to get, because I need... Um, my socket's sorting out in my living room and in the bedroom and in the in my son's room, but they don't go in my son's room, really. Um, when they've got the sockets in the living room sorted out, I am going to um, get some plug-ins for the living room and the bedroom and in the hallway. And I'm going to get some um, of these either Feely Way or oh, Pet Remedy, that's it. And I'm going to put them around the flat and just let them all calm down a bit. I'm going to get some new cat towers. I'm going to get some new bowls. I'm going to get some new fountains and sort of make it completely different. Maybe change around a bit of furniture so it's not like they're going to be very territorial over things. And that will be that. I've decided that's the way I'm going to do it now. Um... Once I've got things a bit more sorted out, then I can get the bedroom sorted out for myself. Uh, but I want to get these, their cat towers and things sorted out. And then they've got what they need for themselves. And hopefully it'll all calm down. Over in that far corner, I don't really have anything other than a walker and their tower that's been... Not a tower, um, a tunnel that they've got. I'm going to convert all that area into a nice sort of quiet area. So there'll be like beds and things over there as well. And then I'm going to have like wall shelves that will go up. So all this will be joined up, the two big shelves. And then they'll be able to go around and climb on things. And, you know, it'll look a lot better once it's all done. So that is the plan. Been really, really stressful for these guys. It's been awful. I mean, nine weeks is a long time for us you know, to deal with, but to have the cats stressing is hard. I've got to order some more of their food tomorrow. Um, and then that'll be that. Um, but it's just been shit. I'm really not happy with this, but I'm hoping that soon we can, um, you know, start making changes and have my home the way I want it because I'm just so fed up now. Um, but yeah, right, I'm going to go, um, but I just thought I'd do a bit because people are sort of wondering how the cats are affected, are they okay? They seem to be all right to start with and for the first few weeks it was like a disruption and chaos that they sort of put up with, but now it's just getting to the point where it's just too much. Um, and they've had enough and it's really stressful what's going on with them. So hopefully... Hopefully. Oh, come on. I just want it finished. The, uh, the kitchen's still got work that needs doing. It's ridiculous how long it's taking. But then the next step is this doorway here. Um, it's got to be widened. New door put on. And then it'll be the sockets throughout and then finished oh and then there's the bathroom as well which is a different maybe a different firm doing that but more than likely it probably will end up being these jokers which then means it'll probably take it to christmas complete so we'll see anyhow i'm gonna go because i want to sort something out to eat now i'm hungry um do not to have Right, anyway, I shall catch you later. Um, I've got my fajitas for tea tonight, which is cooking away rather nicely. 
Um, yeah, right. Later. Bye. Thanks for watching.